Hey everyone, this is Crowley Bear here with a game called Kerbal Space Program, and this is the first video in a series I'm going to be making that uh, chronicles my journey to the heavens, per se. I, uh, I've messed around with this game for a couple hours today, um, did all the tutorials, so I have, I have a basic grasp of it, and uh, I've landed on, I've orbited Earth and landed back on Earth, you know, I think once in the entire day, so it's a pretty complex game, bit of a challenge, but, uh, We'll start it up in sandbox mode because their career mode is not ruled out yet. And um, so I'm gonna set some basic goals based off of kind of what the Apollo space program did, you know, uh, in the whole space race back then. And so the first goal is get some someone in orbit, and then you know obviously they have to land after the orbit too, and the same one hopefully, and then uh, get to the moon. Well, first, then orbit the moon, then go to the moon, land on the moon, and come back. And, which is my basic guideline with what I'm trying to do here. And then uh, hopefully I can go to some other planets. So what you're seeing here is um, the rocket uh, vehicle something. It's where you build your rockets and shit like that. So um, I'm going to... I've been messing around with it, and I'm gonna try to get a rocket that, just for now, can get me in orbit in the Earth and uh, land safely. So, start off with this little cockpit here. And so, the command. This is a command module or pod, and um, it's kind of the brains of the operations where the astronauts sit and everything, and. Uh, it's, it's the part of the spaceship that you're actually delivering, per se. The other stuff is just to get it there and get it back safe. Alright, and then we need some uh, propulsion on this, first of all. So, these are some different engines. And then uh, some different fuel tanks of sorts. So, what I tend to start out with is a uh, fuel booster. Solid fuel booster. Because they... Uh, they um they're not like a typical engine whereas they can be throttled they just they're on or off and they give a pretty good bang for their weight so um they're pretty efficient and this is what they're made for but actually I should detach that because need a little help oh, we need to be able to separate from the booster rocket once in space. That. All right, now I'm going to add. So that that will get us hopefully into orbit. Now that, that'll get us high enough there. And then once we're in orbit, we need to uh, fly around a little bit. So these are some pretty good little engines that you can use just to give your command module a boost. They have their own. Um, they have their own fuel contained within them, so I'll slap a bunch of these on this so that I will be able to um, alter my orbit once I get in, once I get into space. So the booster is getting me just out of the atmosphere, and these little guys are going to let me redirect the uh, command module so that I'll be able to actually rotate around the earth and land and if I do it right I'll land back where I started because otherwise it wouldn't be actually in orbit it would just be going into space and then like a big arc and falling down that's what happens if you only break the atmosphere and don't alter your orbit alright so I got a shit ton of those basically alright so I got my booster and those I think I can separate alright so now all I need um, for this is a parachute. Oh, and these um, engines also, I believe, can be throttled. If not, I'm kind of fucked, but we'll see, you know. And then I just need a parachute for safe entry. Uh, that one looks pretty good. And I chose this one specifically because it also adds a level of aerodynamics to the thing. Uh, usually I might opt to put um, a uh, cone on the nose, but um, I think the parachute will be alright. I'll use the, side, the parachutes. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're, <laughs> they're over here. 
the parachutes, these ones that can be, um, they're called radials, so they can be installed on the side, and um, you can end up using those instead. But you know, for this simple orbit, get into orbit, change my orbit, fall back down. This should be actually everything I need. Oh, oh, oh! Very important thing, unless you're some kind of superhuman, you need one of these. An SAS module, which will automatically correct for yaw and pitch on your craft and stabilize you. Which actually reminds me of some other things. Gosh, I'm just rushing all over the place. So, I'm gonna put one of these babies on here, which allows that computer to actually, you know, maneuver th something. It can't just make the fucking capsule move without any, without anything actually giving it force. And then I'll also add some uh, wings. And these, uh, the Connards, I don't know how to pronounce that, I hope that's right. These can be moved by that, um, autopilot system, per se. And, uh, that, the, these will stabilize your spacecraft. So, let me, I'll put some of these on here. Nice, easy. So that, uh, it's smooth sailing. Alright, so those are on there now. Uh, just check for symmetry, yep, because that's very important in this game. You want a symmetrical rocket, and um, you also want to try to get your weight it, uh, balanced correctly. And if you ever want to help checking that, you can just look at your center of mass, uh, and your center of lift, and your center of thrust. Which, you know, that's complicated shit. You don't really have to worry about it too much. Uh, okay, sorry, just... Okay, just farted a little bit. It's alright, though. And then I'm moving on to this. I'm, no, I'm not moving on anywhere. I'm just adding some more shit so it's more symmetrical. Alright, and so this rocket should, in theory, be able to get me into orbit, orbit around the Earth, and land safely. So, let's see. Alright, and then here is the launch pad. There's Jibidai Kerman, my little lone astronaut. And... You know what? I fucked up. Oh, no I didn't. Well, I'm gonna fuck up now because I didn't... I, didn't, I just marked I, I launched without being ready. And I didn't have my uh, guidance system on, so let me restart that flight. So, to throw on your guidance system, you just hit T. T. Okay, alright, load it. Alright, yeah, it takes a bit to load. T, and I keep R on. It helps with the boosting, I believe, once we're in space, so I just leave it on. It doesn't really affect it that much. And then this here, over on this side, is, um, these are called stages, and so these are actions that will be performed when you hit space. So the first one, the booster rocket will fire. That's the first stage. And then these are all the little rockets that I put around it for in space, so that's why I want it in a separate area. And then uh, this is the separation of the booster, so I actually want to add a couple stages. So for after the booster fires, which is number two, it goes in re it goes it starts high and goes in the reverse. So it goes stage two, then stage one, then stage zero. Right now, so after the booster fires, then I want to separate from the booster. Then I want to have control of all of these, which is what that means. And then not at the same time. So I'm going to add one. I want my parachute to go off, so now I have to move all of these down to this one. And you can do this in the uh, shipbuilder application also. So I'm gonna, you know, throw all these down there. Okay, so now I've got all my stages in order, and now um, let's let's try to get some lift off here. So I got my guidance systems functioning. Uh, and got all my stages ready, so stage one, rocket booster, here we go. Okay, my fins are stabilizing me, alright. And you don't need to hold down anything because the way that that booster works is it just, like I said before, it's just on or off, physical or zero, it's digital, binary, whatever you want to call it. So this will go until it runs out of fuel, and then after that point, if I'm still not in a high enough orbit, I guess I'll have to rely on the little motors I installed to get me into orbit, but hopefully this will get me there, but based on what I'm seeing right now, it might not. So I'll probably have to slap a few more boosters under this baby. Yeah, I think I've got them. Well, let's see, let's see how far the fuel from just the uh, booster rockets get, the, not the booster, the little rockets gets me. 
So yeah, I'm not even, if you look up here, I'm not even outside of the first layer of the atmosphere. Well, I'll detach it anyway. Those apparently have, like, no fuel in them at all. Alright, well, uh, I'm still going up, I guess. Here, let's look at my orbit. Well, I mean, I guess this was technically what the first space flight was like. You know, it just kind of went up and went down. Right? Very similar to that, actually. But, um, yeah, it's kind of bad. So, I guess I'll count this as my first one. Because, you know, it's, it's a logical first step. How about we get into space first? Before actually, uh, or really fucking high, I guess. I'm not going to space. But let's get really high and then come back to Earth and uh, we'll do that. So that's what I'm going to do here. Alright, I'll go to the next stage and I will time warp. So yeah, now I'm falling. I, I should have waited actually to um, deploy the parachute a little bit. But yeah, now I'm just falling. This is obviously much slower in real life, but like I said, I'm speeding it up. And then, and then I'll... Uh, Come to a nice safe landing on the beach in Cape Conover. Ooh, wow, actually, pretty fucking accurate, eh? Huh? Huh? Look at that, look at that. Alright. Oh, a little faster. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, my parachute disappeared. And... No, I, I, I died. I was... Well, um, okay, I guess I'll call that the first video, <laughs> which failed miserably, and, uh, gotta rethink this design clearly, a little too simple for its own good, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'll be working on the next video sometime soon, and, uh, thanks for watching.